Hello future doctors, how are you guys doing? Just keep working hard for 6 more months guys and you will see your dream turning into a reality. And you know when you live for a strong purpose then hard work is not an option but it's a necessity. So stop doubting yourself, work hard and make it happen. And for the same, I am back with few more questions from biology section of AIPMT 2008 question paper to help you practice more and score more in NEET. Now since you know that we don't have much time, we will start. Okay, so here is question number 69 in front of you. It reads, what does the filiform apparatus do at the entrance into a view? So basically you have to answer what's the function of filiform apparatus. Yes, the correct answer is option number 3. That is, it helps in the entry of pollen tube into synergid. Okay, if you remember the structure of ovule, this is where the synergid was. And these finger-like structures are called the filiform apparatus. And you know what they do? They release certain chemicals which helps in establishing a continuous dialogue between the pollen tube and the synergid. Hence, the pollen tube enters into synergid synergid very easily. I hope this answers your question and now we are moving forward to the next question. Next question is question number 70 and in question number 70 you can see there are two columns column number one and column number two. So basically what you have to do there are four diseases and you have to match them with the correct option given in column number two which can either be a pathogen a prevention or a treatment of the disease. I hope you do it well. Okay friends, the correct answer is option number 2. Now how it's correct I would tell you. Guys, amoebiosis is caused by Entamoeba hysteretica or Entamoeba coli. And its symptoms include abdominal pain or diarrhea. Which is spread through the contaminated food and water. Hence, using only sterilized food and water can prevent amoebiosis. Now diphtheria as you know is a type of nose and throat infection and it can be prevented with the help of DPT vaccine. Remember the full form of DPT is very important where D stands for diphtheria, P stands for pertussis and T stands for tetanus. Now cholera. Cholera symptoms are dehydration and diarrhea so they are treated with the help of oral rehydration therapy. Syphilis, as you know, is a sexually transmitted disease and its causative organism is Tryponema pallidum. Hence, the right answer is option number 2. Now, the next question, that is question number 71. Guys, you know what the starch is? It's the storage material in plants. Now, you have to read these 5 properties of starch and you have to tell which which of them make it useful as a storage material? Okay, the right answer is option number 4. That is, the second and fourth property makes it useful as a storage material. Now, why they do so, I would tell you. Since you are storing starch for using it further, so it needs to be stable to be used later on and not as when it is formed. That's why the chemical non-reactiveness of starch is useful as a, makes it useful as a storage material. Now, why the starch is chemically non-reactive? It is because the glucose molecules are bonded with each other with the help of a glycosidic bond, which, friends, is also a type of covalent bond. And covalent bond, as you know, is very, very strong. Hence, it makes it chemically non-reactive. The fourth point that is osmotically inactiveness of starch. First, I would like to tell you the meaning of osmotically inactiveness. Since you are keeping starch at, at a place and you want to use it later on, so it should be able to pass the semi-permeable membrane coming in between. It can be a plasma membrane or any other such semi-permeable membrane. This is what osmotically inactiveness is. To be able to pass through a semi-permeable membrane. I hope this answers your question. And one more point. 
This osmotically inactiveness makes it useful as a storage material because just imagine if starch is kept somewhere and you want to use it here and in between there is a semi permeable membrane and if starch is not able to pass this semi permeable membrane how will you use it that's where the osmotically inactive property of starch comes into rescue i hope the answer is clear to you now we are moving to the next question that is the slow rate of decomposition of fallen logs in nature is due to their which property it's a very easy question i hope you can answer it it is because of the low moisture content that is the decomposition of fallen logs in nature is slow because of the low moisture content present in logs guys since the moisture content is low the bacteria won't be able to react faster and decompose it now we are moving to the next question cry 1 endotoxins obtained from bacillus thuringiensis are effective against which of the following organisms guys out of the four given organisms option number 2 that is ball worms is correct remember this point is given in ncert and it's very very important i would tell you the types and the uh, organism for against which it is effective now cry 1 ab is effective against corn borer cry 1 ac is effective against corn cotton ball worm and cry 2 ab is also effective against cotton ball worm please do note it down if you haven't now the next question that is question number 74 in this you have to read these four statements and you have to tell which two of them are correct the right answer is option number 1 that is first and third statements are correct why it is correct mtp during first trimester is generally safe yes the abortion of baby if it is done within 3 months then it is considered safe and intrauterine devices like contracept copper t are effective contraceptives why because they prevent implantation of the zygote and that's why they are very effective option number second and fourth or point number second or fourth are wrong why because generally chances of conception are nil until mother breast feeds the infant up to 2 years this duration is wrong this duration is not 2 years but hardly 6 months same in fourth the duration is given wrong contraception pills may be taken up to 1 week after coitus to prevent conception is wrong this duration is hardly 72 hours now we are moving to the next question question number 75 it's a very easy and a bit of theoretical question bacterial leaf blight of rice is caused by a species of which one of the following guys the right answer is option number 3 xanthomonas The Xanthomonas oryzae species of Xanthomonas causes bacterial leaf blight of rice. In this disease, the color of leaves turns brown from green. Now, question number 76. Trichoderma herzianum has proved a useful microorganism for which of the following? The right answer is option number 2. Guys, Trichoderma herzianum is useful for biological control of soil borne pa- plant pathogens. Now the next question, question number 76. You have to tell which one of the following option is correct in the pair of item correctly matching with the category of organ given. I hope you do it well. Guys, the right answer is option number one. That is, nephridia of earthworm and malfeasant tubules of cockroach are excretory organs. Now, the rest three options are wrong. Wings of honeybee and wings of crow are analogous organs. Thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita are homologous organs. Nictitating membrane and blind spot in human eye is not vestigial. I would tell you, blind spot is still in use. Now, the next question. Question number seventy-eight: To which type of barriers under innate immunity do the saliva in the mouth and the tears from the eyes belong? Please choose the right option. Guys, the saliva in mouth and the tears from eyes belong to the physiological barriers. That is, option number one is correct. Now, since they come under physiological barriers, other barriers I would tell you. physical barriers include your skin 
Cytokine barriers includes interferons and cellular barriers are your lymphocytes. Now the next question. Question number 79. Now you have to tell which one of the following given groups of three animals each is correctly matched with their one characteristic morphological feature. It's very easy but very important question. Please do try to answer it. Friends, the correct option is option number one. That is scorpion, spider and cockroach which belongs to arthropoda has got ventral solid central nervous system. Cockroach, locusta and tinea have got metameric segmentation is wrong. Locusta does not have metameric segmentation. Liver flux, sea anemone and sea cucumber have bilateral symmetry. No, sea anemone and sea cucumber are not developed enough to have bilateral symmetry. Centipede, prawn and sea urchin have joint appendages. This is also wrong. Sea urchin does not have jointed appendages. Now we are moving forward to the next question. Question number 80. A transgenic food crop which may help in solving the problem of night blindedness in developing countries is... It's very easy. You just have to point a single, single important thing and you will be able to answer this question. Please do try it. Okay, option number two, that is golden rice is the correct answer for it. Why? I would tell you. Night blindedness is caused due to deficiency of vitamin A. And as you would have read in NCRT, that golden rice is rich in vitamin A. And that's why it can be used in helping this, uh, to solve the problem of night blindedness. Now we will be moving to the next question. Question number 81. Now in this question you have to read the option and you have to choose which one of them is the correct site, the substrate, the enzyme as well as the end product. Please do try to match it correctly. The right option is option number 4. In small intestine, when starch is pre present, it is acted upon by alpha amylase and broken down into disaccharides and further into monosaccharides. I hope this is clear to you. Now we are moving forward to the next question. Question number 82. Here you have to tell what will possibly happen if the secretion of parietal cells of gastric glands is blocked with an inhibitor. Please do read the options carefully and answer it. The right answer is option number 1. Why I would tell you. Guys, what parietal cells does? They secrete HCl. And if the HCl secretion is stopped, the pepsinogen enzyme which is converted into pepsin with the help of HCl will not be done. Which will affect the digestion process. Now the next question. Nitrogen fixation in root nodules of anus is brought about by very easy question. So the right answer is option number one. Guys, in the root nodules of anus, the nitrogen fixation is done by Frankia. And let me remind you, nitrogen fixation topic is very, very important. And please do learn all the plants and the bacteria or the organism which does the nitrogen fixation there. And even the nitrogen fixation cycle is very important. Don't skip this topic. Now we are moving to the next and the last question. You have to read this question and you have to tell that which one of the following statements is correct regarding the drug that is given. Guys, the right option is option number two. That is barbiturates cause relaxation and temporary euphoria. And rest three options are wrong. Thank you for listening to the tutorial. I hope it helped you. And I would like to add a point in today's tutorial that if you have any question regarding any uh, question, then you can ask in comments. That is, you can ask all your doubts in the comment section and I will try to answer them all. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Keep working hard. Thank you.